Local trucking companies saw a dangerous situation developing along Route 65 construction project. Metal objects installed by the contractor were slashing truck tires. And when the company couldn't get any action, they reached out to get Marty Griffin. Take a look at the space to the left and the right of the semi truck right in front of you here along Route 65 this afternoon. So tight, it's hard to watch. Driving it described as treacherous. Got to hang real tight to the left wall in order to miss hitting the right wall. And the right wall has what can be best described as tire killers jutting out of the Jersey barrier. I've seen a uh, school bus, garbage truck, a couple tractor trailers lose tires up through there already. He hit the plate uh, that was extending out from the barrier, and then as the, the wheel spun around, it caught, caught the side of the tire there. $800 in damage to one tire in a garage full of mangled tires, high dollar tires. This is about $10,000 just to me. For Ronald Debris, a safety director at an Ambridge trucking company, this is about a lot more than money. There could have been a major accident. Uh, they could have gone through the, the barriers and injured, you know, other people or the workers. Ron sent me these photos of the work along Route 65 near the Freedom Ambridge area. Two things you notice, the narrow passage and the real culprit, metal plates. Turns out the plates were cutting through tires like steel-edged knives. This is real life with a real danger. Whenever you have 80,000 pounds and you lose control in a construction zone, anything can happen. BMAC Trucking lost 30 tires in a week. Ron reached out to PennDOT, reached out to the contractor, actually doing the job, got little response. He then reached out to us. You know, it was within 24 hours of talking to you that uh, we came to the conclusion that something was going to get done. PennDOT's Dan Cessna didn't mess around, saw the danger here immediately. I hate it. We need to resolve the issue. We need to get the roadway safe, and we need to avoid people getting flat tires. PennDOT ordered the contractors to make immediate changes. They actually put new plates on that are actually shorter. So the new plates out here aren't expected to cut tires. However, PennDOT still isn't convinced. If uh, we continue to have the flat tire issue, we're going to have to find another solution, which I don't know yet what that might be. Very disconcerting. However, there's some good news. The contractor says all of those metal plates you saw, they say they're fixed. The contractor has also agreed to pay for tire damage that occurred in the work zone here. There's a number. If you have a claim, it's Golasek Construction. It's 724-696-3341. 724-696-3341. Push zero. Ask for the operator. They will direct you further. We'll also have that number at kdk.com. Big problem, though. Pretty wow. tight, 40 miles oh, per hour. Goodness. Those things sticking out. Are there any other issues? Well, first of all, guys, it's like one of those gladiator yeah. movies yeah. with the blades. Right. In the metal plate, what it did was it pulled away from the cement wall okay. and it created this edge and it cut through tires. Can you imagine? Well, that not only the tire, but the wheel was right. damaged so significantly. So, so they cut the plates and put them back on the wall. They don't know if that's a solution. They can't make that lane wider. They can't. They don't. Okay. And honestly, for now, they say just really go through there slowly. But even PennDOT admits this is a problem. They don't know if it's resolved. Well, you could see the difference when you saw the, the video of a car going through, and the trucks are so much wider that it makes it much more difficult for them. And they were hitting the grate on the other side, the sewage grate, and it was flipping up. So it oh, pushed them closer to the wall, and these plates. Bad problem. Yeah, that is. But PennDOT did step up really fast. Got to commend them. Right. All Marty, right, Marty, thanks, thanks sure. so much. And hey, if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244 and visit kdka.com slash get Marty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.